Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, I want to welcome you guys to the Shopify Hydrogen course at codingphase.com. Okay, so what exactly is hydrogen? So hydrogen is pretty much a framework that allows you to create online stores and use Shopify's infrastructure, right? as a backend, right? And technically what you're doing is connecting to Shopify using APIs and basically getting all of the perks that you will get from Shopify, talking about inventory management, um, you know, users, uh, security, right? Payment gateway, et cetera, right? All of the good things that Shopify already provides, but then now you have full control of your website. So this time around, you're not limited by liquid and maybe, you know, Shopify's own infrastructure where they might have thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of online stores and merchants that are using their platform. Okay. Now for you guys, why should you care about hydrogen and even Shopify in general? I mean, if you are a front end guy and let's say, for example, you've been using react the last few years, you can now use those same skills to be able to get into the world of Shopify. So you don't have to start from scratch. You're basically going in with the same skills that you've been using everywhere else. So let's talk about opportunities. If you know me and you've been following me for the past few years, you know that everything that I learn has to come with a bag. I don't waste time learning little to do apps or little raspberry pies, you know, connecting a led light with uh, a battery. I don't have time for that. If it doesn't come with money, I don't want to learn it. Right. Time is valuable. So we need to make sure that if we're going to learn something, there needs to be opportunities for us. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, Shopify has been booming the last three, four years after the pandemic is even bigger than it's ever been. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen online those commercials. Hey guys, drop shipping. Hey, you could sell products online, etc. right? Guess what? That's our customers. <laughs> those are our custies, right? We can go in and have those people and those companies and those entrepreneurs as our customers. And even those entrepreneurs are the ones that's going to give us opportunities to get hired at companies. Okay. So at the end of the day, Shopify is booming. And if you look online on websites like indeed.com, dice.com, uh, Glassdoor, ZipRecruiter, even jobs.google.com, you can go and check for a Shopify developer. And one thing that they're going to be mentioning a lot is Shopify plus. Okay. Now Shopify plus is an extra service that Shopify provides where basically you have like a dedicated team for you basically. Right. And you have some extra features and you could go in and customize your checkout, et cetera. Like there's a couple of things that you can do with Shopify plus, but most of the companies that are using Shopify plus are also using Shopify as a headless CMS. Okay. Pretty much, you know, Shopify provides the infrastructure. They have a separate website connects to the front end API. Ta-da. That's what's happening. And guess what? They're looking for guys who know this thing, right? Who knows how to go in and use react, you know, maybe use some next GS, maybe use some no GS, right? Maybe some PHP Laravel, right? They're looking for guys with this type of skills. Now, guess what? Hydrogen is the new tool from Shopify. And guess what happens? Usually when, a company comes out with a tool that they say, this is the official tool that we support. All of the companies start following along. So I'm pretty sure that all of the new companies and even companies that have been building their own front end uh, type websites, right? Using the front end API or static sites that have been created with next GS, I'm pretty sure they're going to be converting and using now Shopify's hydrogen, especially because Shopify is planning on creating a service that will allow users and pretty much developers to upload their whole websites inside of Shopify. So basically it's being hosted directly by Shopify. Okay, if you want to think about it like this, it's very similar to what Versal does, what the guys at Netlify does, right? Uh, you could go in, use GitHub and put your repo and it uploads and ta-da, you have your website up online, right? So Shopify is getting into that game too. 
And this is one of the reasons why they created this framework. Now for us as developers, like I said, there's a lot of opportunities. There's the opportunities in getting a job, working for a company, right? And as you can see, they're not paying low, they're paying top dollars because you need to know a lot of skills to be able to do this. Okay. Now I'm not trying to scare you guys. I'm not saying that you got to be an expert or a senior developer to be able to do this, but it's a process, right? You're going to need to know react. You're going to need to know, uh, something like Node.js. You might even need to know, um, you know, GraphQL, etc. So yes, it's a little process, but we're going to cover everything that you need to get going in this course. Now, again, they are paying a lot. Right. So that's a good plus, you know, me again. Okay? But then on top of that is the fact that now I believe that there's a huge opportunity that people are going to go in and jump into now, which is creating full websites and selling them directly to the consumers. Okay. So I'll give you guys an example. This already started on themeforest.net. Uh, if you look online and search next.js, you will see that a lot of themes that were being built for WordPress, that were being built for uh, WooCommerce, Magento, they're now being converted into Next.js, okay? And the reason why this is, is because a lot of companies are jumping into the world of, you know, having a headless CMS where they're not dealing with the back end, they're just working on the front end of the website. And there's a lot of guys that they already jump on it, right? And they're like, okay, cool, let's do this, right? But guess what? Now it's a new opportunity. If you go in and you create a theme, right? It could be for Liquid, it could be for HTML, CSS, it could be Next.js, it could be Gatsby, it could be uh, React, it could be Angular, it could be Vue, right? That one theme can be now converted into a whole bunch of different themes, okay? This is what I actually teach in the Shopify theme course on codingphase.com, right? We teach you guys how to go in, find ideas, build a theme. And then from there we go and take that theme and export it to, uh, basically be used on Next.js and also to be used with, um, Shopify's liquid engine. Okay. So then now in this course, we're going to take that same project that we did that we created into a liquid theme. We're going to go in, create this theme into a hydrogen. Theme, okay. This is the beauty of it, right? Remember I told you guys this before you build your themes once. And then from there you get to reuse them over and over and over again. Okay. Because now it's all about plugging it in to whatever platform it is that, you know, you want to put it. It could be Wix, it could be WooCommerce, it could be Magento, it could be BigCommerce. It doesn't matter. As long as you're using first a platform like Next.js, then you could go in and export these files to every other platform that's out there. Okay. So again, this whole project is already done, right? In the sense of the HTML, CSS, the majority of it is already done. We don't have to do much. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to take this project, this existing project, and we're going to go and start converting it into hydrogen. At the same time, it saves you guys time because now you don't have to go in and build the static files, but we just jump right into hydrogen. Okay. So this is the cool things about this course that is happening right now. Okay. It's a beautiful theme, right? Uh, we have multiple different type of headers. We have different collection sections. Okay. And then from there, we're going to be using what's already included with hydrogen to basically optimize and, you know, speed up our process. So again, what can you expect out of this course? You're going to learn hydrogen. You're going to get very comfortable with it. Okay. You're going to be very, very comfortable with it. It's a simple framework, pretty straightforward. If you know react, you're going to feel at home. If you ever use next JS, you're going to feel at home. If you ever done like no JS before, like you're going to feel at home. And for those of you guys that have never played around with react and, you know, even doing no JS applications, it's fine, right? You're going to learn a lot in this course. Okay. We're going to get you up and running. So, yeah, man, I'm super excited. I can't wait until I see you guys inside of the course. Okay. Um, like I always say, guys, you know, you got to look for opportunities, right? You got to look for opportunities. You got to look for 
moments like this where you can make a mark for yourself, right? While everybody's going that way, you're going this way, okay? Everybody's going to the left, go right. Everybody's going to the right, go to the left, right? So you could really stand out. Um, like I said, there's a lot of opportunities in the job market for this type of skill. And then at the same time, it's a huge opportunity for you as an independent developer for you to make money. This is one of those skills that you want to have on your tool belt, right? So anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right here and I'll see you guys inside of the course. All right. Take care. Peace.